just coming up to 20 past 7 in the morning on the 3rd of June, now we're in the 3rd of June we're going to be leaving Holiday Head in a minute the weather has really toned itself down now we're looking forward to a real summer sail and instead of that we're going to have overcast reasonable winds which is not too bad but then it gets it gets worse uh, throughout the week in terms of rain but anyway that's weather for you uh, never rely on the forecast even Hollyhead now It's at 25 past 7 and then we're very cloud, very overcast. Heavy wind this morning, it's seized off now. Okay, got our life on. No stack in the distance. managed to scare the overfalls and take uh, this picture of us as we just crept along the overfalls just on the edge. Finally, Jenica is up. It's tight at the shop, but it's on the wrong stay, unfortunately, so it's on the wrong hallowed. Um, anyway, it'll do. It'll do, donkey. Well, we're holding five knots well with it. I'm impressed. For the wind we've got. So you should be. Hey, there's a lot of hard work in that, yes, well done, the pair of you. It was so jumbled then, it, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I remembered halfway through when I was doing it, how we had to rip it down, basically. Yeah, you and Gareth. Just creeping up to Bardi at the moment. We're waiting, it's two o'clock at the moment, but we need to be going through there at between three and four. <clears throat> at the moment, it's looking all right, but uh, it's so deceptive, as we found out before. The Snowden Range up there. <laughs> Getting close to Bardi now. What's that? Not even 
as we're coming up to Bardsley now we're coming into the Bardsley Sound now and then we need to take close to this side there to get the uh, current going through because the current should be changing in about 10-15 minutes and be coming with us and especially into that corner at the moment in that corner it's still going out but that'll change and this is low water at Bargey Island Back for another hour Yeah, there's a there's a boat coming through very close to the wall and as you can see there it's just on the plus five so you get the little arrow coming out there you got the little arrow coming out and that's what he's doing that boat over there is following that he's cutting it fine though and we're coming in now we we, we should we should be getting the last of the flood going in And then we've got, we should then hit this. Adventure as we go through the Bardsey. Team Jersey One, and we're coming into uh, Aberdaren Bay now, where we'll stop for the night and then decide what we're going to do tomorrow to get down. We need to be in Port Maddock at high water. day now consider it started off horrible there's another oh I know this boat temperature drops in the wall yeah Safely anchored off Aberdan now. Lovely holding here. It's great. Having moored the boats, I got my dinghy out and we headed off to Aberdan and we stopped and had a beautiful meal and Irish coffee for the first time in a long time at Gwesty Newid. Gwesty T Newid. Note the excellent Welsh pronunciation, not. <laughs> Dashing back to get on board and switch it out to the those few minutes out to the boat the weather calmed again look at the sea now calm classes on anything <laughs> Back home now. Yeah, Tuesday the 4th today. Tuesday the 4th. And uh, it's now, what time is it? Quarter to 8, we'll be leaving at 10 o'clock. Uh, lazy start today. <coughs> we decided against Port Maddock, mainly because uh, 
chives on to glue right just to get in and out uh, <coughs> and um, so we're going to go to Pacelli if we can get in I don't see why we can't I'll give them a ring at 8 o'clock they should be in at 8 o'clock as you can see it's a so the wet and miserable day today do with cleaning the boat a bit so the rain just coming up to 10 o'clock and we've got the engine off uh, we've got 16 knots just on our starboard quarter it's dried up which is a good thing and it's actually getting slightly warmer even though it was predicted to get cold Just in between 15 and 18. Yeah, just in between 15 and 18. But yeah, otherwise we're okay. We've got a, got a fair reef in, um, just in case it goes up, because we're just on the lee shore now. So we should have been in, in Ireland, but I'm glad we're not out here, because the weather forecast is really nasty for the whole of this week now uh, and to be honest with you it's not that bad today we're doing quite well today at the moment but it's due to build in about an hour two hours time so hopefully we'll be tucked around in uh, Port Maddock um, I was shocked I should say how are you doing John? I'm doing all right yeah you want to say anything about the trip? Certainly the longest we've had in Janica on the road, it's like an ounce of downs. Full down gear, quarter past nine, and we're just heading round to Abbasock now because we can't get into Patelli. We can't get into Patelli. Weather's turned foul on us, so we're going to duck into Abbasock out the way, hopefully, out the way. Yeah, that's fine. That's not our Yeah, no, don't worry about it. We'll get some sail out. We'll get the four sail out for a bit. 22 knots, gusting 24, 25 at the moment. And uh, this has got the main sail out. Basically, to get around this headland, uh, well, these islands, get out there, and then we should be on a run virtually all the way down to Aversock in behind that. Uh, 20 knots of wind, we just sort of centred the, well not centred the overfalls, just on the edge of the overfalls. Just on the edge of the overfalls now, and we've got 20 knots of winds on our beam. And uh, yeah, once we're past these islands, we'll just turn south and go with the wind. Sock. Well, well, this is the lovely weather we were promised. July, June. June, yeah. This is this is June. This is the best month of June. Allendale, poor and that. Oh, bloody hell! It's bouncing that, Danny. Isn't it? Went inside. The difference in how it makes this is absolutely beautiful again now. 
In fact, it's time to strip off, I think. I can feel the cold. <laughs> it'll be cold, it's a fair now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he put the you know it out because uh, no need for the other side really. We're only going down the road. Approaching the marina now. And, uh, yeah, to come. Yeah, yes, yeah, good thing. Actually, I tell you what, leave it till we turn. Right, but I'll be ready for it. Yeah, because we're going to, we'll be a while. Because uh, we need to go into the least to go in. in yeah. We've got 8.7 meters so now, coming into Padelli. We need to just round that headland, and then we can just about see the red and green poles which we'll follow in and that should take us into the channel into the marina uh, so we go the outcrop there the furthest outcrop we go on the inside of that and between the breakwalker and the outcrop and that takes us into the marina Oh, it's a starboard, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's the 28 going. Yeah, it could be. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Going on the colour. Yeah, which way are you going? Yeah, I am. 28. Yeah, it's 28. What's his name? Swing along. Swing along suddenly. Suddenly country. Safely moored at Patheli now. Uh, we've got two berths next to each other, which was quite convenient. We have electrics and uh, all the facilities. Me too. Oh. It should do some varnish in there. Not good. Should have taken that off and done some varnishing. And Bonaventure. Paul's boat and sea lock. My boat. Yeah. And I've got some chunks out to the side there. Looks like my. Looks like the straps are catching that. It's the first time it's done that. I have to think about something to, to maybe start putting them through the front again. It should go through the front here, yeah, actually. Because I've got to. End of part two, our non island adventure. Thank you for watching.